Welcome back to the skies, ladies and gentlemen. The desert skies, that is. Man, this is one game I did not expect to play again, because I gotta be honest, I thought they abandoned it. Uh, the last update for this game was in December of 2019, and they just announced their newest update, and it is a pretty big one. Now, if you don't know anything about Desert Skies, it was a really popular game on the channel. Here is my hot air balloon. It's actually a castle. Um, and yeah, if you want to check out more of it, I have a whole playlist of this game. Uh, I'll have a link of it at the bottom of this description. But yes, with their newest update, it's quite huge. Now, if we go to the build tab here and go to appliances, we have navigational items. We have a wind-up engine as well as a weather vane. Now, before in this game, you built a hot air balloon, but you could only go where the winds took you. Which was basically in a straight line. Don't get me wrong, it was still fun, but it w really wasn't an open world experience. Now, with that new engine, you can explore wherever the hell you want. So it truly is an open world survival game. Also, there's biomes in the game now. We are in one of them right now. It's basically totally changed the game. So I thought we'd get back out into it and uh, continue on our giant castle here because I don't want to get rid of it. I love it too much. And yeah, hopefully we can build an engine for this thing. I think I actually saw we got what we need right here. So we have the hand wheel, um, something else, and basically this is the new starting area. So even if you played the game before, they put you in the starting area, which is kind of nice because I do like um, using my old raft. Hot air balloon. I'm going to compare this a lot to raft. <laughs> All right, well, I still have a full inventory, so let's get back on. Man, it has been half a year since I've been here, a little over half a year. And I gotta say, I loved everything about this game. I'm so glad that they updated it again, because I have truly missed it. There's something about exploring a desert in the skies. It's just really, really fun. But yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a learning experience for me. Like I said, I haven't played in a long time, but we have a good baseline here, at least. We got, I think, pretty much everything in this game. Except for the new pieces, of course. So we'll probably put them up here, and uh, I guess we'll just explore and see what we can find today. Okay, well, let's pick out up everything else before we get out of here, and hopefully that sand creature, I don't remember its name, um, isn't here. Judging by the, the torn body, though, he's clearly here. Oh my god, they even got bugs on them? That's actually kind of gross. Okay, the one thing I didn't find was the gearbox. I wonder if it wants me to go to the next area without having any sort of directional way to go. So, I looked around here for quite a while. I'm actually getting quite hungry and stuff right now, and I'm worried that that guy's going to come out sooner or later. So, I think we'll get out of here. If I remember correctly, the cactuses give me fibers. Yeah, there we go. So, let's get some fibers as well. I don't think we're going to need really anything. I got lots of wood. Um, so we should be good. I forget how to turn this thing on. There we go. Now, it lags a little bit as it goes up because my craft is so crazy, but once it gets into the air, it should be okay. And now we just look out and see any points of interest. All right, it wasn't too far away. I saw a town, so we're gonna lag down a little bit and get to that. I'm seeing in the distance. You see that, like, smoke? Oh, I really... I hope I find my engine here because I definitely want to go over here. Okay, so I think I remember... Um, this town, this was like the starting town again. Uh, looks like the starting is kind of the same. But we have biomes now, and I really hope if we can find a gearbox here, um, like I said, I saw some smoke or something in the distance. Maybe we could go that direction and see what we could find. Hey, I don't remember this. Where is this leading me? Okay, well, we have a church up here. Is there anything in the church? There's rope. I mean, I have lots of rope. We don't really need that. Well, I found a piano at least. Is that it? Oh god, did, did, did I just get it? I just picked it up real quick. Okay, that was it. I'm taking your bell too. I hear the enemy coming, so let's get inside. I don't think he can open doors. Oh, go oh my god, they changed the look of him. He is more horrifying, and he seemed to be bigger. Okay, he's leaving me alone. Oh, food, nice. Ah, Jesus Christ, don't do that. All right, screw it. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's run back to uh, the base real quick. I might come back and loot this if I have time. Ooh, I want to see what's over here, though. This might have been a dumb idea. I don't have much stamina at all. That's right, they slowed you in this game. So you can die to him! Ah, oh, Jesus! Oh, I'm so far away. No, no, screw off. Ah! Oh, God, Jesus! Oh, God! I really should have brought bullets. Why did I th think I'd be okay to explore a whole town? Ah, Jesus! Without bullets! All right, well, thankfully, he's a, he's a bad aim with that giant hand of his. Get the hell out of here. This is, this is my town. Yeah, that's right. Get... Get out of here. So thankfully, they don't go on the craft, so that's why I built this thing, this bottom floor, uh, so I can just keep away from them. 
Okay, let's build the wind-up engine. Um, does it matter which way we go with this? Find a spot on a platform to build this on right mouse button, next build mode. Okay. Um, we're kind of tight up here, actually, so... Fortunately, it's all red. We might need to move some stuff around. All right, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't want that. Let's just open this up a little bit. So, interestingly enough, I'm trying to rotate it. Um, there is a rotate button. I wonder if it has to be going, uh, in the back direction of the ship. That would kind of make sense. So, I guess I'll just throw it here. And what do we need for this? Wind-up engine turned off. Uh, F to turn left. Oh, okay. Cool. How do I charge it? Oh. By winding it, you dummy. <laughs> okay, you're just gonna wind her up. Oh, God, is this using... Oh, this is another bar on my side I'm gonna have to manage. So now we have a burner bar as well as an engine bar. At least I don't need resources for this. Just a little bit of elbow grease. Aw, oh, we can't put the wind thing on the table. So I'm just gonna have to have it kind of on the floor over here. You know what? That's kind of out of um the way anyways. I don't hate that. So obviously the wind is going that way. Okay, where was it? it it's one away now. There was There was a fire over there. Um, oh yeah, we have to turn this on, duh. Okay, there we go. Turn it on. And... Oh, there it is! So we should, I mean, it's not gonna be fast, but we are, as you can see, clearly churning. Uh, I'm gonna need a lot of supplies for the journey west, so I'll have to keep an eye out for more towns and outposts to scavenge. Oh, I'm actually driving. Okay, can we straighten this now? There we go, there we go, there we go. Straight, stra straight over to the fire. Let's turn a little bit more. Oh, this is so freaking cool. So you can see my navigational thing. So yeah, you can you can actually go backwards if you wanted to. Um, eat a fly straight. Kind of annoying that I have to look back to control that. I wish I could like hold on to it with my hand and just move that way, but I think we'll get used to it. All right, turn a bit more left. I think we're kind of right underneath it right now. So I think we'll just land. I don't mind exploring a little bit. I wish the leg wasn't so bad, but that's what I get for trying to build a giant craft in this game, I guess. Are we even on the ground yet? We are still flying. Whoa! I don't think that was supposed to happen, was it? Should we... Should we fly again? Okay, just in the underworld. No big deal. That's fine, right? Oh! 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 Now the question is, do I try and land again? Oh, man. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be over here. So... Obviously, this just came out. Still very much an early access game. At least it has Underworld DLC. All right, good news. I can actually see the ground this time. So, yeah, that was a little wor weird. But, um, yeah, I decided to reload. And reloading generally fixes things. So, where does it want me to go? You know what? Let's just land. Because I can actually see the ground now. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously... What I would recommend you guys do is build a whole new raft. Or, god damn, I keep calling it raft. It's a hot air balloon. Because, yeah, that, that might have been my issue. I'm technically using an old save. And, um, yeah, sometimes... Oh, god. Okay, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I didn't even... What, what's the point of interest here? I like that it kind of shows you where to go. Because, obviously, the desert's got a lot of nothingness. I'm going to die if I go out here too long. Um, I don't really see anything. I might just go to the next one. It might have been something over there, but it looked like it was like kind of, maybe it's even up ahead a little bit. I think I'll just float a little bit, see if I can see anything. If not, we'll make our way to the next one. We're, we're, we're not gonna get all the loot. All right, yeah, all I see is nothing over there, so I clearly either missed it or not all of these are points of interest. Is that something, that white thing? No, that's just a tree. All right, well, onward to the next area. Oh, there's one over there too. Oh, decisions, where do I go? Oh, I really wish I could build two of these engines, because this thing... This is struggling. Come on, keep going to the left. <laughs> like, I'm right sideways. I see where I need to go at least this time. I'd like to get a little closer, though. That seeker is generally pretty damn quick. God, like, what is it? Hurricane winds over here? I'm I'm basically going sideways, as you can see. Here, Here's where I'm supposed to be going, but I'm just strafing. Well, that's fine. I mean, we're a hell of a lot closer than last time. Last time, I couldn't even see where we needed to go, so... It's looking like we'll be able to land here, and hopefully there's something good. Alright, Seeker, just leave me alone for a second, man. Just come on. I still haven't built bullets, because I'm a brilliant man. But, um... There's a house over here, so we should be okay. The blue room. 
Wobblehead available. Okay, so it tells you what loot is here. Oh god, he's already freaking spawned. I'm not even there! Let me get to the blue room. Oh, he's literally just chilling at the blue room. Okay, well, at least I got some sort of safe haven here. Stab you! Yeah, there you go. Okay. I don't even think he hit me. Oh, he's getting out of here. He's sad. That's right. To go right through the wall. Okay, I'm at the safety of the blue room, so uh, at least there's some loot here. So yeah, there are a, a lot of the old areas are obviously just going to uh, be plotted throughout the map now, and I believe I've been to the blue room before. Um, but yeah, this is kind of how this game works. You look for points of interest, um, and then you loot them the best you can. Alright, I just want to loot this. He's still lo lo looking for me, but I was hoping there'd be... Ugh. There's nothing here. I mean, I can cook if I want to, but ain't no one got time for that. Oh, grab it. Ah! God damn it! Okay, I'm out! I don't want the stupid fibers. Where the hell did I park? Oh, no! Okay, I missed it. Okay, I am so far away. This is actually gonna be close. I, I, I need to stab him. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, come on! Ah! Oh, no! That was a total failure! Oh, thank God. He missed. I'm still so far away. All right, well, now we know. Park a lot closer, guys. Uh, oh, jump his attack. Can't avoid his attacks. Oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so close. No. Come on. Please. Thank God you can run backwards as fast as you can forwards. Don't kill me. Please. Okay. 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 I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Whew. I need bullets. The thing is, I think you need golden bullets, and I have... I, I don't think I have any gold ingots. Oh, I have one. Freaking one. Yay. Does that give me ten bullets or one? Um, so yeah, if we use this... There we go. I think that might be ten. So at least I got a little bit. No, that's, that's really one. I mean, I got lots of iron. What does the iron do? I think it just might damage it, which still will be fine. Yeah, I think the, um, the iron just stops it from moving, which is fine. I don't have to kill them. I've killed enough of them already. I just, I don't want to die. All right, well, that was, um, well, we didn't die, so it wasn't complete failure, but that was too close for comfort, so let's try and park a little closer next time, shall we? So you really want to align with the wind early on, so I got one a little further out here, as you can see, but, um, if we can get, obviously, with the wind then my life is going to be way easier. So now that I'm kind of... Oh, the wind's changing. Great. Thank you. Ah! God damn it. The wind changes? That's freaking evil. Now now it's going northward. It used to be going west. Oh, damn it. Now I'm, now, now I'm back to... I'm going to be way off here. This game used to be nice. I used to be able to craft while flying around and everything. Now it's just constant management. Benefit being, it looks like we're going to make it there. Looks to be another small house or something. Um, I was hoping for, obviously, um, some sort of town. But anything has loot, so that's good enough for me. All right, so yeah, new strategy. I'm getting used to this control here. We're going to turn off the engine. And then we should, hopefully, once this stops, kind of coast over there. I'm still being pushed. Oh, no. Can I, can I reverse the engine? I mean, we're going to be a little closer this time. We're still pretty far away, though. A supply store. That's fun. Is that a dead body? Oh, two. Yay. Well, you guys won't be needing this food anymore and bandages, and I definitely will. So thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Oh, God. Bad timing, man. There's a whole storage unit over here. Just let me explore. Oh, he sees me. He sees me. Damn you. All right. So you got to aim for the chest, which is right below his chin to actually do any damage with this thing. Okay. Okay, okay, come on. There we go, that's what I needed. I don't I don't need to kill you, I just need to slow you down a little bit. Oh, he, he actually leaves now. He never used to do that. Amazing. One bullet to get him to leave? Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, he's, I think he's coming back. Well, now there's this giant thing. I'm going to this, what looks to be maybe a town here, but the hell is that? It's a lot bigger than the other po points of interest. Oh, you know what I think this is? It's looking like we're changing biomes. I mean, obviously, you can see the white up ahead. I wonder if that's what it is, because those other areas are much smaller, so this must be indication of a new biome. Okay, this engine can only do so much. I'm going directly sideways. <laughs> like, look at, look at my engine, and look at the direction we're going. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to get to this biome, though. 
I wish I noticed it a little bit quicker. All right, it went away, so it just must indicate that, hey, this is where another biome is. If you want to go there, you're good to go there. You can actually see in the distance. We do have some points of interest as well. There's another one popping up right there, so... I like this. I like that you can see where you want to go. Because obviously in the desert, if we didn't have these little uh, things, it would take forever to find anything. So I'm, I actually do like that they added some some way to find them. I, I wish they were more realistic, though, like a campfire that was smoldering or something. Because uh, I don't think it's really anything right now. It's just kind of a way to indicate exactly where you're going. Anyways, I think that's a first good look at the new update in Desert Skies. Now, let me know what you guys think of this, because obviously we checked out the old biome. We're heading into a new one literally right now, and uh, I don't know if that's new areas to explore or if it's just, you know, a different change of scenery. Regardless, um, I'm really excited about this. It's nice that I can actually explore where I want to go now with this new engine, and I think this is going to add a lot to the game. There is a lot of updates that are planned for this. I believe they want to add multiplayer as well, so they have big plans for this game. And if you didn't see this game before, it was really popular on the channel. There's actually quite a bit of content already in the game, so I'll have a playlist, like I said, in the description of this video. Go and check it out. There's a lot of fun stuff. There's caves to explore, secrets to find, obviously vi villages to loot, and seekers to avoid. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.